All right, artists, before you dive into the coloring part, make sure that you write your name and class code on the front. These will be difficult to tell who's is who without your name and class code. So please make sure that you add that detail before you get started. And then you can choose a coloring material. For something big like this, where it's asking you the primary colors and you know you're just coloring red, yellow, and blue, it's just one color per circle, that would be something that you could use markers for or even the paint sticks, okay? So please still do your best. I want you to be able to use this as a reference. So, just take the time to do your best work. Okay, so you could fill those in, and you could even use different coloring materials. If you want to do marker for the red, you want to do paint stick for the yellow, and you want to do color pencil for the blue, that's up to you. That's fine. For this particular exercise where you're mixing colors together, please use colored pencils or crayons. I want you to use this crayon box because this has all the colors that you need. Make sure that you are looking at the label. Make sure you're getting red because that's what you need. When you're coloring the red up here, that's all fine and well and good. Okay, coloring that in. And then you are going to be mixing it in this space right here with the blue. So I'm still gonna color this part red, but I know I'm going to be overlapping it with the blue. Okay, so then I look in my box and I look to see, okay, what's this one say? This one says blue green, not the one I want. So I need to make sure I'm getting actual blue. Okay, and I'm going to color down here first with the blue. And I'm mixing the secondary colors with the from the primary colors, right? So I have the primary color of red and the primary color of blue, and now I'm mixing the red and blue together to make purple. Okay. If it's not making exactly the color that you were hoping for, you can go back over it again with the first color and experiment with different pressures, but you should be able to mix those together to create that secondary color. Purple's kind of a tricky one, but you can do it. Then you would go on to the next one. Red plus yellow equals orange. And mix that together right there, okay? So use crayons or colored pencils for the secondary colors when you're actually doing the mixing, okay? skip over this rainbow part right now this is really thin if you want to use colored pencils to get in there you can I don't have any that aren't specifically labeled indigo but you could use like a lighter blue and a darker blue here go on to the complementary colors fill in the color wheel again you could use markers you could use crayons colored pencils paint sticks and then you're going to write here the complement color that goes across from this in the color wheel. So what goes across from red? Well, we know that the complement of red is green. What goes across from blue? We know that across from that on the color wheel is orange, right? Across from yellow is violet, or you could even write purple, okay? So make sure that you're writing those answers in with pencil and you're coloring in the color wheel. Then you'll go on to fill in the warm colors and the cool colors. And then if you wanna keep going, you can, or you can stop for today. If you are going to use the paint sticks, just make sure you're taking really good care of them. This would be a page that would work really well for that. It's like a large, it's an air, large area that you can stay inside of your lines with. Please make sure they're not rolled up too much before you're putting the cap back on. Make sure you're putting the cap on tight so you hear the click. And with these, they take about 90 seconds, it says, on the box to dry. Sometimes they take a little bit longer. If you're feeling like, oh, I'm kind of nervous that it's not dry yet, you can always put it on the drying rack with the pages open like this. Just make sure your name and class code is, of course, on the front. But then I will take it off the drying rack and I'll put it back in your class bin for you so that it doesn't stick together. If you close this up right now while this yellow is still sticky, these pages will stick together and then they'll rip when I pull it apart. So 
if you do use the paint sticks and your pages are wet, then you can go ahead and drop it off at the drying rack when it's time to clean up. Please make sure you put all of these materials back where you found them before you move on to free choice. Have fun.